First day of spring tomorrow. Glad to hear that. All right, sometimes, folks, we like to revisit some of our memorable segments that we have featured in our live show. Today, we go back into our video vault from January and share this healthy recipe courtesy of Chef Azar. Back with us this morning, ready to make some tasty vegetable lasagna rollettos. <laughs> and there we have it. As fun to say as they are to eat, I'm sure. You're going to show us how to do it. I never yeah. mess with lasagna noodles. Very, I really don't. Yeah, very simple. I know a lot of times people have a problem with them breaking up yeah. when they boil them, but you got to make sure you have enough water in the pot. You got to have a big pot of water, and then the noodles have enough room to move around. So, so that's it? That's why they break is because the pot's too small? It's not it's enough water simple? and they're overcooked. You know, a lot oh, of people, wow. a lot of people okay. overcook noodles, the, um, pasta noodles. You want to cook them until they're al dente. That means it translates to meaning to the tooth. So you just want it to have a little bite to it. Because remember, once you get it to this point, it's going to go in the oven again and cook some more in a liquid. So you don't want to have it cooked perfectly at this stage, you want it to still have a little bite because it's going to still withstand some heat in the oven. And that's gotcha. why it got so soft and mushy yeah, or rubbery. Or so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. so with this process, is pretty simple. What we're going to start with is we're going to saute the vegetables that are going to go in the roletto. And what you want to do is make sure that you cook them, you know, and caramelize them down really well to get the moisture out of them. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a nice hot pan. We're going to start with some onions. That's just vegetable oil in there? Yep, just some okay. vegetable oil in there. And carrots. Now, could you do these noodles in advance, Asar, yes, and then kind of just them. keep them refrigerated or For something? For sure. You could do them in advance and keep them in the refrigerator. And another cool thing about that is that you can make these rollettos in advance and then pop them in the oven as needed. So you can have your dinner prepped out and planned for the week. Okay. So is this, is on, this is on high heat right here. And the reason you want it on high heat is because you want it to cook rapidly, caramelize, and to get the moisture out of it. So I'm going to let it go like this for about a minute or so, and then I'm going to add the salt. I'm doing it this way so I can get the real good caramelization on it, and I didn't put the salt in initially because salt will do what? It'll draw Dry the moisture out, out of it and start making too much steam, and now you're sort of steaming them instead of letting them caramelize. Man, a subtle little trick like that <laughs> makes all the difference. Otherwise, they would just kind of steam and steam, get You want them to get some color on them. So we'll let that do its thing. We're going to go ahead and add the, um, the red pepper in there now, and that's good. And these uh, are added in, in this sequence for obvious reasons. The carrots are going to take a little longer. Exactly. And uh, not as long as the, as the pepper. But. All right. Yeah. So. Okay, so while that's doing this thing right here, we have some ricotta cheese right there. So we got one egg. You go ahead and add that egg in there just right, right. there. Mm -hmm. Pour that egg in there. Okay. All right. And then in that container right in front of you, we got a little bit of thyme and oregano. You could just dump that in there. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's that simple. And we're just going to mix this around. You don't have to beat that egg up before you put it in there? Nope, it's going to, you know, combine right into the ricotta cheese and be smooth and nice. Now you can take the sea salt and black pepper, okay. put a few cracks of that in there. There you go, like three. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're good. And then same with the black pepper. There you go. You're good right there. Okay. All right. So I'm enjoying got... watching y'all. <laughs> So we have that. We have that right here. So now I'm going to put you to work. You go ahead and put some gloves on. Okay. Now, if I was at home, I might not have regulation gloves. Is that okay? <laughs> That's fine. You can do that at home. That's fine. So we'll go through this next stage. This is very simple. What we have here is a, it's um, called an offset spatula that you have right here. Mm -hmm. It's an offset spatula. And I have a, a scoop right here, which is going to give us the good amount that's going to go on there. So I'm going to just put that right there, and you're going to just spread it evenly. Just go ahead. Just like that. Perfect. You might have done this before, I think. No. That's it. Perfect. She worked for the highway department <laughs> paving before this. And, and that's uh, it right there. <laughs> it's, it's the uh, love of cheese. I don't like to miss a millimeter on anything. Oh, see, left-handed is a, um, yeah, a risk. Little, you got to be ambidextrous, you know, in this game. Oh, wait, here we go. There you oh, go. That, that you made you up for good. it right there. I, did you put less on this scoop? I'm sorry. No, it was the same scoop on both of them, so you're good. Okay, so now All right. I got this fancy little tool right here, it's, you know, called a, a garlic press. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this piece of garlic, stick it in there, and just squeeze it down, put the garlic in there. You know, I put the garlic in later, right? Bill? Bill? Because it's uh, you want it to stay fresh and it don't want it to cook down. Ooh. Almost, Bill. You don't want it to burn. It'll burn. <laughs> It'll burn it if you put it in at the beginning. So, it's so sensitive. You know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Those onions got. I mean, those, the garlic has a lot of filling. You know. Look at how beautiful, as you said, the caramel. I love how I'm pointing with the gloves on, but your the caramelization on those 
mushrooms. Yeah, it came, it, it cooked pretty quickly. So now you could go ahead and um, just um, crack a little salt and pepper inside of there. Okay. So now you do want to dry it there out you a go. little bit. Yep, because we got it to the state of caramelization we want. You're mm. good right there. Oh, good. And then you could go ahead and do the same thing with the salt. Good. All right, so this is this is good to go. So Ready now we'll roll? move on to the next stage right there. Literally. So we'll um, take that off. Okay. And what we'll do next is we'll take this little tool right here and we'll just drop some of these right on here. Now, you could do, what other vegetables would whatever, you sub whatever out? Whatever you like, you can put on, um, if you want to use squash, what I would recommend is that you just use the outer edges of it mm -hmm. and um, cook it down the same way. You can use broccoli, you can use um, green peppers, whatever you like. You could put, of course, ground beef, ground turkey, however, whatever combination. I use these particular vegetables because they don't release <clears throat> a lot of water. Okay. You know, if you put um, the other ones that I named, they'll release a lot of water, and then you'll see water floating into your pan when you're um. You don't want mushy yeah, with want these things. Okay, so the next Bizarre, thing. Let me ask a question yeah. real quick. So, is there a guide somewhere that, or is it just stuff you know that tells us which vegetables cook faster? I mean, is no, there, it's just, is it's there just, like a scale? Well, you would just want to see, okay what has the most water in it, and mm -hmm. then you just kind of want to steer away from those, do the same thing with the other one. But um, it's just through experience and working with it for a good while that, oh, you did great with that, that's All good. Right. Okay, so now we're Never have to too much cheese. No, when it comes to working with cheese, I gotta be. Right. And then do the same thing. Right. Other one. Okay, now we're gonna take some parsley. The sound some effects parsley. help a lot. Sound effects make you taste yeah. better. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Look at how pretty they are. All right, and we'll take a little bit of. Do you need more salt? Okay. Right, you don't have to put any more salt. Okay. And then I'm going to show you. So this is the next step right here. You're going to do that one, so uh -oh. you don't stand uh -huh. back. Okay, okay so. Oh, I thought we were going to do this open face. No. <laughs> no. no. Right. It's so pretty. You hate so to roll it up. Okay, here's where thing. the real test comes oh, out. Yeah. All right, so let's see where yeah, you go. Let's see how because that, I feel like I it's going to mush. Sure, you got, you got it. Just keep rolling it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep it going. Keep it going. Rolling. Lasagna. <laughs> Perfect. Now, yes. we're going to go ahead and we'll take a, we have some marinara sauce here that we're going to put a couple of scoops of that in the bottom of this bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the um, rolletto now and we'll just place it in the bowl. Um, I'm enchanted. And then oh, we'll so take, each one gets its own bowl? Yeah, everyone gets their own little oh, bowl. Oh, go on now. Like Is that. this one of those things, like if you put that down and only had one, I'd be like, I'm going to be hungry after that. But then when you, you eat can, it, yeah, it's pretty filling. it'd be filling. Yeah. More cheese. All right. So then mm -hmm. we top it with a little bit of that. Okay. Here with a little bit more parsley. And then we go into the oven. Super duper. All right. And then with the magic that we have here, mm -hmm. Get a pop we'll over go ahead type. and yeah. pull this out. And then we have the finished product right here. Voila. Man. Voila. Yeah, that's we'll go ahead magic and there. We'll take this. You we'll, need more cheese? Yeah, you can shave some more, more cheese. cheese on top of it. Let's move this pan okay. out of the way. Right there. And. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ah. That, and you're done. Look at how fancy it is. That is amazing. And Each dish is a work of art. <laughs> and how Wait, awesome is and that? And you need a little knife to cut yeah. in there, yeah. You want to get in there? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Uh, cheerleading over here was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you worked up a real appetite, didn't you? <laughs> so you guys how, were working. How fancy would you feel at home? You make this. Making I mean, that its own yeah. little dish, yeah. I see steam. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Just warning you. Yeah, whenever you see steam, you know that's 212 degrees right there, so watch out. That's good to know, because yeah, right? a lot of times it's steam. <laughs> how, how hot was it when it burnt you? 212. It was We're 212 gonna post degrees. this recipe on our website later today, and if you're interested in Chef Hazar's carrot.